Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Altalk.co.uk for your post, pre-match and Sheffield Wednesday discussions with fellow Wednesdayites. Hello guys, and this is something a little bit different. Uh, so Gary Monk just had his press conference for the Millwall game and he was talking about the ins and outs of what possibly happened. Didn't mention any names as such but did say that he had told the club who he wants in and he had told the club who he wants out and that is up for the club to go and get those deals done. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can get, what the club can get done now. It's not on Monk, it's not on uh, that now, it's now on uh, the club to go and get these deals done. Now, so far we know it's between, uh, we, we know in the media saying there's still something on for Wickham, there's still something uh, that we learned overnight that uh, we're looking at Josh Windass, which kind of makes sense, we do need some help in that kind of area. Uh, the Windass deal could be roads going in the other direction possibly similar to how we did the butterfield winnow deal a couple of years ago with derby so let's it'll be interesting to see what wednesday do here but in gary monk press conference he turned around and said that he is still annoyed with how the players were and that result on tuesday night which he's well in his right to be let's be honest it was dreadful uh, he said he knows which players he wants to keep and which players he wants to go. Morgan Fox is in advanced talks to get his co new contract sorted and it's looking more and more likely that that is going to happen very, very soon. Uh, for me, I think that's a fantastic move, to be honest with you. I like Morgan Fox. Like I said before, he's the most improved Wednesday player this season for me. Uh, Palmer back training and is up for selection. As if Fourth Dairy, he would have liked Fourth Dairy to have uh, another map, but the map that was in question of him playing in was on an after pitch, and he didn't really want to risk him. So I think Monk for me is, like I said before, he wasn't my first choice of manager, but with everything that he's saying and everything that he's doing, he's ticking all the right boxes for me with what he's saying and stuff. Uh, he mentioned about the new lad that he might. Uh, Take a while for bedding. He might give him a chance at the weekend. You could probably see him come off the bench for five, ten minutes or something like that. Just to see what it's like. But it's also unlikely. But he has also said that he is looking at bedding in the youth team more. We've seen a lot of this from him already. And I like this. I like the fact that he's going with youth teamers. This is something we've all wanted for a while for to use our youth academy. So the fact that we finally got a manager that's blending it in is fantastic. So the more opportunity for youth team players, for me, the better. So it was a good press conference. I think he's he said everything that it needs to say. We're now waiting on the club to get things done. But I'm going to start possibly doing uh, the kind of uh, talking about the press conference because it's good to have that part of a as a fan channel that it kind of is, uh, to keep going and say stuff. So let's see what happens and hopefully we can get these two or three players in. He says it's two, hasn't said the names, but hopefully we can get these players in to the club and signed and they can play hopefully tomorrow. Don't forget to have your say at altalk.co.uk after the match.